suck sober thoughts, yeah And is it me that you want, me that you want Guess me off some neon vibes today honey because we are going to be creating a neon look I don't know what type of makeup look I'm creating today I just know that I am going for a neon green color something to match my shirt well, before we get started if you are not already subscribed girl what are you doing don't waste another minute hit that subscribe button honey and also turn on that post notification bell so that you do not miss a another video honey and give this video a huge thumbs up if you like what you see and without further ado let's jump into this makeup tutorial I have three palettes here I have my sample beauty palette my BH Cosmetics Take Me Back to Brazil palette and my P. Louise Secret Center palette. This is the Sample Beauty palette. It's called Immensity. This is the P. Louise Secret Center palette. And this is what this one looks like. Well, to outline my brows, I'm using the Juvia's Place Concealer in the shade number 9. Are using the P. Louise base in the shade Rumor Number no. Two on our lids for a primer. Let's hope the rest of this tutorial goes smoothly because yesterday, when I attempted to do my makeup, everything that possibly could have went wrong did go wrong. I'm taking my P. Louise Secret Center palette. And the first shade I'm going to go in with is this purple shade right here called Addicted. Place that right here on the outer corner in the crease. Okay, I'm gonna go into my BH Cosmetics palette, green shape right here. I am going to blend that on top of the purple just to create like a nice gradient effect. The next palette I'm going in with my ABH Prism palette. I'm gonna take this black shade right here called Obsidian. Pop a little bit of this right here to deepen up the crease a little bit and give us some depth. Um, oh my gosh. I hope I didn't screw this up you guys cause yeah. Y'all know I'm really good at that. And I'm going to take the brush that had the purple on it and I'm going to blend out that black shade a little bit. So now I am going to cut my crease using the same um, P. Louise base. I'm only going to cut my crease a little bit more than halfway. The next thing I'm going to do is go into my Sample Beauty palette and I am going to take the shade 2 Infinity. I am going to pack that right there on the space. Okay, so that's not the type of green that I was looking for whatsoever. So we're just going to place that in the inner corner first. Because that's definitely not the color green I was going for. So since that's not the shade of green that I was going for, I only put it like right there in my inner corner. I'm going to take this shade right here, which looks more like the color of my shirt. I'm going to pack it on this portion of the lid. For eyeliner today, I am using the ABH Liquid Liner. So there goes my wing and I almost forgot, how y'all gonna let me forget? I forgot to close up the corner of my half cut crease. So I'm going into the Sample Beauty palette and I'm taking this shade right here, 
um, called Colossal. And I'm literally taking just a little bit because this stuff is super pigmented. And I'm just going to put some on the outer corner and try to close it up a little bit. Now to add a little bit of spice to this eye look, I'm going to go in with the Rihanna Fenty Beauty um, eyeliner. This is from the Neon Collection. Jalapeno. Yes, jalapeno. I'm going to go right on top of the black eyeliner that I just created. I'm going to go ahead and complete the other eye off camera, pop on some lashes, and then I will be right back so that we can complete the face. I am using the Makeup Forever HD foundation stick, and this is in the shade... Like, what's the number? This is too much. I don't know, but this is what it looks like. That's what it looks like. Now, this is certainly not my color, but I'm going to apply two, and this smells terrible, y'all. Terrible. I'm going to apply some swipes across my face. Oh, this smells like a fish oil peel. It's really, really terrible. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my NARS Radiant Sheer Glow Foundation in the shade Macau Medium Dark 3, I do believe. my Juvia's Place concealer in the shade number nine and I am going to highlight in the center of my face I'm going to go ahead and set it with some setting powder before we do contour. Um, the setting powder I'm using is from Juvia's Place in the shade Gobi. I've tried this one time and I actually really, really like and just set underneath my under eyes with it. Now I'm going to take my Bobbi Brown foundation stick in the shade Espresso and I am going to slightly contour my cheekbones. One last time, I'm going to go in with my um, Juvia's Place setting powder. Oh gosh, I used the wrong brush. I literally used the wrong brush. Okay, so one more time, I'm going to go in with my Juvia's Place setting powder. And once again, that is in the shade Gobi. And I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my highlight. I mean, my highlight. I'm just going to go ahead and clean up my contour. Like so. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Milk. Neon Green shade. I'm going to pop it in my waterline. 
who dip back into the Sample Beauty palette and take that purple shade right here called Colossal. This is the Jeffree Star highlighter. I'm gonna go in with my Huda Beauty Neon Palette. I'm gonna take this shade right here, this neon looking shade, and I'm gonna take this on my brush and I'm gonna pop it in my inner corner. We're going to be using the Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Setting Spray. I'm going to just go ahead and play it safe and use the e.l.f. Lip Plumping Gloss in the shade Peach Bellini something. And it's so neutral and it's so pretty and it literally goes with every single look. This is the completed look. I hope you guys enjoyed me slaying this look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. But before I go, you already know the drill. If you are not already subscribed, honey, what are you doing? Click that subscribe button so that you do not miss a another video oh, honey and also turn on that post notification bell so that you are always notified whenever I upload new content. I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mwah.